What's up guys, my name is Alan, I'm a Wix developer and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create your very own stunning mega menu using Wix.com. That's right, within Wix we're actually going to be able to create three unique different type of menu options within a container box and honestly don't let that container box word scare you, it's so simple um, and if you have or if you are a little bit creative then you can really create some amazing amazing uh, mega menus and I created some examples here for you under product and design, just some words, text, a button and some images under the about us, some more images, some text and a button and then under about, I just briefly added an image and some text. So it's pretty simple. But what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna walk you through every single step. Uh, so without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you obviously need to get started is a Wix.com um, account. So go to Wix.com, uh, log in, create an account, whatever. Uh, and basically either select a template or uh, if you already have a, a template, um, simply open up the editor. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the editor together. This is the Wix editor. And what we wanna do here is, I'm gonna start from the beginning. So I'm gonna delete everything on my page and then we're gonna go ahead and create it together. So let's go ahead and just delete everything here. And um, now that we have a blank canvas, we're finally ready to get started. Now before we get started, if you'd like me to personally work on your project for you or you'd like to actually uh, consider reaching out to me, the link is in the description. You can reach out using the Wix Marketplace under Alan Bajo. So without further delay, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Once we're in the editor, to get started with the mega menu, we want to click on the add button on the top left and we want to simply hover down all the way to menu and anchors and you'll notice that there is something called horizontal menus. Let's go ahead and grab this horizontal menu and simply drag it into our Wix editor. Voila! We're pretty much ready to get started with uh, Wix Mega Menus. You'll notice that once you add the horizontal menu, the first thing you'll notice is a toggle that comes up here. There's Manage Menu, Navigate, and Settings. We need to enable the Settings option for Advanced Menus. So let's go ahead and click on Settings, click on Set as Advanced, click on Set as Advanced, and voila! We're ready to basically get started with our Mega Menus. Now, if you accidentally exit this little option here, you can go ahead and simply click back on your menu and click Manage Menu, and then you'll be introduced back to the uh, Mega Menu option. What is This is where basically we're going to be, uh, the location where we're going to be working on creating our actual Mega Menu. So let's go ahead and start creating our Mega Menu for the first time by simply adding uh, this little button at the bottom that says Add Menu Item. So let's go ahead and add this, and you'll notice an option that says Mega Menu. So let's go ahead and do that together. Okay. So we have a mega menu, and then within the mega menu, there's a container. So for example, we could call this products. Fantastic. We can go ahead and add another uh, menu, and then mega menu again, and you'll notice that the container always falls underneath the header. And this is important because we're going to be working within the container part to design the actual mega menu. So we'll call this feature products, and then we'll add one more. And we'll call this, I don't know, let's say about us. Uh, and then you'll notice the container. So, what do we have here? We have our standard menu. Again, we added the menu by simply clicking on Add Element, hovering over Mega Menu, adding the menu here, uh, and then simply uh, adjusting the menu by clicking on Settings, and then going to Manage Menu, and then simply just adding the menu right here at the bottom, which is Mega Menu. So let's go ahead and actually start designing the Mega Menu. So the first thing we need to do is to click on the container on whatever header we'd like. So for example, under products, let's go ahead and click under uh, container and click on edit. And voila, you'll notice that this little strip underneath comes uh, down from the actual products. You can burn it down, you can burn it up, you can make it as slim as you want or as wide as you like. Uh, but regardless, the first thing you're going to notice is that everything kind of changed in regards to the toggle that was on the left hand side. The only thing that we really have now is the add elements function. Again, if we were to exit this and simply click on our menu and go into a container, within the containers where we're going to, what we're going to do what, is what we're going to work within to actually create that design. So again, if it was featured products, let's click on edit and voila, here's the featured product uh, container. So let's go ahead and start creating this uh, in a unique way. Let's go ahead and click on add. Let's go ahead and click on, for example, text. And you know what, we can print some text right in the container box and anything within this container box uh, will be our actual mega menu. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, featured product and I'm going to simply on the top right hand corner click on preview. I'm going to show you how it works. 
If I hover over Featured Products, you'll notice that our Mega Menu box appears. Now, obviously, our website needs to be completed so that it actually looks presentable, but you'll notice that if I simply click on the menu one more time, click on Mega Menu, click on the container I want to work with, and click on Edit, you'll notice that it actually fits within the container box, and there's our content. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it, move it to about right here, and I'm going to actually add some text here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly Google search product description so I can just get a quick product description so I don't have to write a lot of content. I'm going to simply double click this. We'll make this maybe 15 font and we'll choose a different font. I encourage you guys obviously to work with a professional designer. Of course, you can reach out to me anytime and I can definitely help you um, to basically create the mega menu that you're really wanting to create. Now, what I could technically do is because of our box here, I could go ahead and click on add. I can click on image. I can simply click on upload image. And then from here, at the bottom left, we can use Unsplash to get a lot of free amazing content. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and click on this image here and add to page. As you can see, anything that I simply add within this little strip right here, the drop down menu, will appear as, as a menu. So let's go ahead and click on the top right hand corner, click preview. Let's go ahead and hover over featured products and now you can kind of see how our menu is coming together. We can really create some amazing menus. So in the original menu I created, I added a button. And I added that button and I linked it to a product or a specific page. So remember that creating the mega menu is really going to come down to your personal preference on design. But let's go ahead and go back into the editor on the top right, click on our mega menu, click on mega menu, and then click on the container we were working in. So from here, you'll notice that the toggle changes again, simply an add element. We'll click on this, click on the button, and we'll just drag a button right about here. And then we'll just call this go to products. What we can do is that we can actually go ahead and click on a specific element such as this button and link it. We can link it to a specific page, we can link it to a specific product, um, but again I always encourage everybody to obviously hire somebody and work with the designer in regards to uh, creating the ultimate uh, outcome of whatever your product's going to look like. So. Um, let's go ahead and do something really funky here. Uh, let's grab this mega menu and bring it up within the header. And let's go ahead and go to preview on the top right hand corner and hover over it. That it's starting to look more like a menu because menus are usually at the top and not in the center. But as you can see, when I hover over products, I don't have anything. I don't have anything under home, nor do I have anything under about us. So to work and create um, different um, mega menus under each category, what we want to do is simply go back into the editor, click on the actual mega menu, click on mega menu, and then work within a different container. So let's click on this container, for example, and let's add something new and make this container completely different. So we're gonna go ahead and click on upload images. We're gonna go to Unsplash again, and just type in products. Um, and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and grab, maybe we'll grab this, we'll, we'll grab this product. They're pretty cool sneakers. And then again, we have to make sure that the content um, that we are going to be adding to the mega menu fits within this little strip here. Yes, you can bring it down further if you want to add more content. Um, and then you can go ahead and do cool things such as clicking on an element and designing that element in a unique way. So what I'll do to speed this up is I'll just go real professional here and just start making things look a little prettier. And I'm going to bring this product to about right here. And then I can copy and paste and start featuring different products uh, within my mega menu. And then again, if we're looking at the different type of elements that we can add within our mega menu, uh, it could be text, it could be image, it could be um, a button, it could be a box. So in this case, I'll grab this box here um, and then I can change the color of the box and make it blue, for example, or gray. Um, in this case, I'll make it dark black. And then I can go ahead and just whatever basically uh, fits within this mega menu here uh, will be uh, displayed on the actual mega menu when users uh, hover over. So featured and then mega menu, featured mega menu. So let me go ahead and press the back button so I can start showing you guys kind of what I was designing prior. Uh, and that way you guys can get a clear under understanding and uh, a real awesome visual on, you know, what a, an actual mega menu that was completed. So um, needless to say, uh, hopefully you guys have had a 
good experience uh, in regards to uh, watching this video and really trying to understand um, how to use a mega menu. Again, this is kind of what a finished product could look like if you actually took the time to create a menu or hire a designer or hire a developer such as myself uh, within the Wix marketplace to, re um, to help you. Um, but needless to say, um, you can do anything you like with mega menus as long as you add the content uh, inside the container. Again, hovering in it back to the editor, clicking on the menu, clicking on manage menu, and then just simply working within the containers. And then of course, you know, anything you, you touch within the container uh, will then um, be showcased the second the user, you know, hovers over the specific product. Uh, menu. Now what's really interesting is that each and every single one of your um, headlines, your titles, can have different sizes. So this could be a little bit uh, lengthier, this could be shorter, and this could be very lengthy. So uh, we are talking about complete freedom in regards to how you work with your mega menus. Uh, and if you guys like this video, um, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, but this was a quick introduction on how to get started with Wix mega menus. If for some reason uh, in your editor, you do not have the option of mega menus. It is slowly being rolled out, but definitely consider reaching out because I can still help you with that also. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This was a Wix.com special for how to create a mega menu using Wix.com and the Wix HTML5 editor.